I don't know why. Let's see with the presets. Oh, let's go to presets. There's yeah. absolutely no presets here. Okay. Vocals. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. What is up my friend, Jacob here with another video to help you record better, mix better, and work better. Today we're doing another live plugin review. Today's plugin is Juicebox. Now I've seen this plugin pop up a couple times on my Instagram feeds, like sponsored ads and stuff like that, and I was really curious to try it out. Apparently it's kind of like a one-stop shop for like vocal effects and like vocal processing. It's kind of all in one box. It's got this really cool look and like uh, graphic user interface design. So I just picked it up. It was a whopping $70 Canadian, but for you guys, I'd do anything. So I picked it up. We're gonna try it live right now for the first time and I'll give you my honest opinion, my honest reaction. But before I jump into the video, I wanna tell you about something very, very special. If you have not yet picked it up and you're just getting started in audio and you don't know what to buy or how much it costs, I want you to go pick up my free PDF gear guide. In this gear guide, I go over what you're gonna need to start your studio to record yourself or your clients and how much it's gonna cost. I give you a bunch of options at different price ranges to kind of suit your needs and suit your budget. It's absolutely free, go pick it up. Go to www.mixwithjacob.com forward slash gear guide, grab that. First thing, let's take a listen to the song that we're gonna be kind of doing this with. This is a song called Pyramid, which is the temporary name. It's not out yet, it's by an artist named Sammy Rocky. Let's take a listen to kind of the end of the chorus into the second verse with the feature. Don't watch my mo, you all but show, that's not cool. I'm not no fool. You not about me and that's the truth. So like these kind of these ad libs down here, I'd be curious to kind of try this plugin on these ad libs because what I'm seeing it kind of marketed as, this like juice box is really that, that kind of saucy ad lib uh, kind of plug-in processing, kind of all-in-one toolbox. So let's go and duplicate uh, one of these tracks. Let's say maybe this one. Yeah, let's take this track. Let's duplicate it because I want to compare what I did with what the juice box is going to give me. So I'm going to make this one inactive. Let's duplicate it uh, with no inserts, no sends, but with the active playlist and let me just make that active actually. And so now we got no plugins. Let me go juice box. Nice. Where is it? So I can't find the plugin and I'm wondering if it's because the track is not a stereo track. See that, that is a problem for me. So the fact that I need to use this plugin on a stereo track and not a mono track, they should have like all other plugins, a mono to stereo where it takes your mono track makes it a stereo playback track so that it, it could apply the effects. Like, you know, H delay, for example, has that function. So the fact that I can only use this on a stereo track is really annoying because now I, if I have a mono ad-lib track, I need to make it stereo before applying the plugin. That's, for me, that's a problem. Let's, let's continue. Now, I have to make this track stereo or I need to put it through a bus, a stereo bus, I guess. Because I don't want to apply a stereo effect to the vocal for nothing, right? I want to keep it like a true mono vocal, very annoying. Already the plugin right now is kind of a bummer, just for that simple reason. Yeah. Okay, so now it's dry, it's just mono. Oh. So let's see, saturation. Sa oh. Saturation I frequency, okay. What's really cool is the, the graphic. I love the, <laughs> the graphic like user interface on this space, so it's like a reverb. And you can put the reverb before the echo, I guess. Or after with this little switch button. Let me just go loop a little section of this. Yeah. Oh. oh I got to turn it on, I guess. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. So let's put the echo first. And let's do what? Quarter notes? Oh. On the delay? Oh. I know why. Oh, cool. It has like a little bit of a filter on yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Let's do like eighth notes. Oh. 
with a bit of the space. Ooh, I know why. That's kind of cool. The reverb sounds really nice. Yeah. I love the way it looks, this plugin. It's so sick. Ooh. Depth boost. Okay, let's see the spread. Let's see what's up. Ooh, I know why. Oh, yeah. Depth boost? What is this? Yeah. Take these out. I know why. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I kind of like it. it. Gives it like a little bit of a modulation. Oh. Let's check the saturation. Why. Yeah. Oh, this is like a full on. Oh. I know why. Yeah. Oh. I see. I know why. Can you modify the envelope though, so it's not super? Yeah. No, you can't. Oh. What's this do? Okay. Oh. Application can be opened. This plugin's got a lot of red flags, yeah. to be honest. Mm. Oh, I know why. So at zero percent, it's no filter. Yeah. As soon as you put one, like ten percent. Oh. Okay, no. So at, at least there's a mix knob on the filter. That's kind of cool. I know why. Let's see with the presets. Let's go to presets. There's yeah. absolutely no presets here. Okay. Vocals. Oh. Interesting. It's super loud. Gain down a bit. Interesting. Let's hear like with the song. I'm on my baby, I pop. I'm not no fool. Yeah. You're not by yeah. me, and that's the truth. Tell me, oh. Tell me why. I don't want no lies. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I'm on my baby, I pop. I'm not no fool. Yeah. You're not by me, and that's the truth. Tell me, oh. Tell me why. That's kind of cool. I don't want no lies. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I'm on my baby, I pop. I'm not no fool. Yeah. You not by yeah. me, and that's the Probably truth. too much. Tell me why. That's kind of cool. I don't want no lies. Mm. So some of the presets are kind of nice. For me, this plugin is like one of those like they kind of they trap you with the way it looks because it's not that great. It's not giving me like I don't know. I feel like already if I compare with what I did before, this is uh. My OG. I'm not no fool. Yeah. You're not by me, and that's the truth. Tell me, oh, tell me why. And this is the new one. I don't want no lies. I'll take it off of like the crazy pre. Let me try and dial. Let me try and dial something in that's like cool at least that I like, and then we'll compare. Okay, so let me go. Um, can I like factory reset this thing? More import export. Okay, factory default. Boom. And I even, I factory defaulted and it stays on Astro. I, I find that kind of weird. Yeah. So this is like super dry. Oh. I don't really want any filter. I'm down with the spread. Oh. I know why. Yeah. I'm down with the spread. Saturation. Oh. I like the saturation. Let's do a little bit of space. Oh. I know why. I do, I really like the reverb. Yeah. It's like a reverb and it's kind of modulating while it's reverbing out. It's, it's kind of nice. I really like the reverb. That, that's one thing I can say. I know why. Let's go like a quarter note delay, which is kind of like what I did yeah. with this, I believe. I didn't even have a delay actually on the OG. Let's put a little bit though. Let's just, just. I know why. That's cool. A little more of reverb maybe. Yeah. Nice. Oh. One thing I would like, I, I kind of wish this plugin had like a compression 
uh, sec like so I could really like squash the crap out of it because I think it would make it more interesting if I could like squash I mean obviously I could do that before like if I put a let's say a CLA 2A or something before the juice box plugin yeah just, just to kind of squash it a bit oh that's kind of cool oh I know why I really like the reverb yeah yeah, okay. Now, I, that's kind of cool. Let's hear it with the track. I'm not no fool. Yeah. You're not by me and that's the truth. Tell me why. It's cool. It's a vibe. I don't want no lies. I know why. I'm on my baby. I pop. I'm not no fool. You're not. Let's hear now with the original that I had. I'm not no fool. You're not by me and that's the truth. Tell me why. Mine are just a little more filtered no than, than the one with the juice box. Let's really let's filter it, kind of get a similar sound. I'm not no fool. Yeah. You're not about me, and that's the truth. Tell me, tell me why. I don't want no lies. I okay. Okay. I'm not no fool. Original? You're not about me, and that's the truth. Tell me, tell me why. Cool. Okay. I'm not no fool. Yeah. You're not about me, and that's the truth. Tell me, tell me why. Okay. It's I don't nice. want no lies. I know why. I'm on my baby. I pop. I'm not no let's, fool. Let's hear it like in another section, maybe. Obviously, I'm saturated a little hard. Oh, there's no... I, yeah, that's another thing, too. You can't... Maybe I just need to gain down. I, can't, I just wish there was more control on the things. Like, how much saturation I'm doing. Or, like, if I could modify the filter range so it's, like, a little bit wider and less narrow. You know, that, that would be cool. Having, like, a little bit of a compression... Uh, ju <laughs> a compression juice box would be kind of nice. Like, put another one, like before the filter, like compression, and just juice box the hell out of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it's cool. Uh, uh. I think it's a, it, it makes for a good like one-stop shop if you're not really sure what you want, right? You kind of throw this on, maybe flip through some presets, and then you kind of land on one where you're like, oh, nice, this is really cool, and then you maybe modify it, and then you get a sound that you're looking for. But compared to what I was doing before, and it's, it's even much simpler what I was doing before. On my old, like, OG ad-lib track, all I had was Auto-Tune Max. I have this, like, uh, mono to stereo plugin by Sheps that does, like, it takes your mono signal, just kind of makes it wider, puts it in, like, a space. And then I have a filter, super simple, and then just a boatload of reverb. And I almost like it better than than what I have with the juice box. Like, if I did, let's say I did the same, this is just for my own experimenting. Let's say I do the exact same chain, um, but I use the reverb from the juice box, because I do like the reverb. Then I might get something cool. Like, if I just... I really like the Oops. Yeah, yeah. Let's compare with the other one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the juice box reverb is super cool. Has like this resonance kind of thing that just happens in the top end. It's it's like kind of weird and un unnatural, but it it sounds so good. It sounds so good. It sounds like so many records that I've heard. But as far as the actual processing of the plugin, it's not that crazy. I think the reverb is the coolest thing. The echo is kind of nice. Let's play with it a bit. Yeah, yeah. Like if I put it on an, on an eighth note thing and just crank it. Maybe switch. No. 
I do, I do like the... Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe I'm being a little harsh. In fact, what I, what I think brings out the best of this plugin is doing a little bit of work before. Like doing uh, maybe some compression before or saturation before, so whatever's coming into the plugin already sounds nice, and then you just add this on top. It kind of gives it like an extra sauce. As far as what I was doing before compared to what I'm doing with the juice box, it's giving me the same feeling. You know, it just took me a few extra plugins to get the sound I wanted. But like I said before, the juice box kind of has this thing where if you're kind of looking for a sound and you're not sure quite how to get it, it might be really cool to just throw this on and flip through a couple presets. Put the auto-tune on before and just flip through presets. And you might land on something that you're like, whoa, nice, this is what I was looking for. And for me, I, I already know how I like my ad-libs to sound, so it wasn't that impressive, the plugin. What I really love is the reverb. So $50 US. For me, it's about 75 Canadian-ish, somewhere around there, 70 Canadian. For the price I paid, it's a little expensive. It doesn't give me the wow factor that I thought it would, but I think the reverb is really cool. The delay is really cool. I think if you do a bit of processing going into the plugin, the filter is not that great. Screw the filter. The saturation is kind of cool. Um, maybe the spread is cool. I, I think you could achieve something just as good with like a micro shift or something, but the space and echo, cool. That's my honest opinion. I would say for the price, not worth it, but some cool stuff. Really love the reverb. The filters, meh. The saturation's okay. And the spread is kind of cool. So one-stop shop plugin, it's okay. For me, not worth the price. I give it like a five out of 10. It's okay. So that's it. Short little video, honest live plugin review of Juicebox. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helps you make an informed decision whether you want to buy this plugin or not. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Go pick up that PDF gear guide, www.mixwithjacob.com forward slash gear guide. And let me know down below in the comments under this video, what did you think of the plugin? Was it impressive? Was it not impressive? Do you think it's worth the $50 US? Or are you like me and you're kind of meh? Let us know down in the comments, honestly, what you think. Once again, thanks so much for watching. I will see you next week. Peace.